Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for December. Who's coming towards me? This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is for singles, Scorpio. So you have to be single, obviously. So if you are committed or uh, exclusively dating somebody, then this may not be for you. Uh, you could be dating somebody but not committed. So that may work also. So we'll see what kind of energy we get here. We could get your person of interest. We could get somebody totally new. If you're totally single and you have nobody, this see here uh, what's coming towards you. And we'll look at um, a couple signs. We'll pull a couple signs here. We'll look at what kind of energy they are in, who they are, when, where, how, um, advice, what kind of connection will it be. And then we'll pull tarot on top of it also. So please only take what resonates and um, throw away the rest, I guess. <laughs> and uh, if it's somebody totally new, then I guess you wouldn't know if it resonates or not. But um, we'll see what we get here. All right, Scorpio. So this is intended for whenever you see this, tell whenever. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So this will be up before December. So happy Thanksgiving. And I believe this is probably will be up right on Thanksgiving. So if you see this on Thanksgiving, I hope you're having a great day with your friends and family. All right, so a couple signs for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio spirit, please? Capricorn and Cancer. All right, so we have Capricorn and Cancer, Earth, Water. Hmm, interesting. Earth and water sign. A fellow water sign, perhaps. <clears throat> okay, so you can meet somebody uh, with both of these signs in their chart, or just one sign. Okay, so Scorpio. Who is this person coming into Scorpio singles? Who is this possible person? See what kind of energy energy they are in. What kind of person are they? All right. What kind of person are they? Who are they? Who is this person coming into Scorpio? Oh. So we have here somebody who may be very intuitive with the moon energy. Um, somebody who can see things clearly who doesn't really have a lot of worry and fear about things. They have the ability to really, really think clearly, see clearly, listen to their gut, to their intuition. I think they kind of can see through illusions and people that may uh, not be truthful to them. They may be, may be able to like see right through all that. Um, but the moon can sometimes represent having secrets. So be careful. Um, of that energy. So we're going to clarify more what's going on here. So they could be like a astrologist or something also, or maybe like a moonologist, or if there's a such thing, or maybe somebody that studies the moon or is just fascinated with um, that sort of energy. So let's see like what time frame when you could possibly meet this person. Spring. So it might not be till spring here. So springtime. Okay. And let's see where. So So I see here does say springtime. And I see a, a tiger there. And this little girl has fairy wings or butterfly wings. I don't know, I'm getting like a zoo. <laughs> Maybe you may meet them at the park or like um, in the, at a zoo or, or something, a farm or something like that. Um, something around animals. It wouldn't be winter, something doing winter activity because your time is spring. So that wouldn't make sense because we do have winter scenery here. So unless you visit a part of the world where it's winter time or a cold climate, like, you know, maybe 
Alaska or something, but um, I just feel like maybe something around animals here. Okay, so... Or maybe even, um, I'm, I'm just going to like at the vet. Vet's office or something like that. All right, so how? So somebody's going to be assertive here. It says stand up for yourself. So I feel like something may happen where you may have to like stand up to this person and like not defend, kind of like defend yourself, but maybe you might need to just for some reason have to say something um, to this person about something. Uh, I mean, it may not be bad. It may not be like in a bad way, but maybe you may just have to, and that's probably how you meet this person. Um, you know, maybe their pet gets loose or something like that and you help to catch it or uh, something like that. Or maybe you help them in some way, like if you're at a zoo or, you know, something may happen with an animal and you may kind of step in and um, kind of help them out or something. I don't know, something weird like that. It sounds really strange, but <laughs> hey, you know what? It is what it is. So, so I see you having to step up to them or them to you like having to interf interfere with something um so i don't know we'll see so i think that's how you meet this person we do have a lot of fire energy here which is very passionate energy and we have winter energy which is about truth clarity but then there's something here with the moon so i don't know if this person is just very um, intuitive, very um, in tune, in touch. So I know we'll see. Let's see. Let's get what kind of connection. Will this be mother healing? As you, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So I feel like this will be a very um, healing connection for the two of you. Hmm, that's a nice energy. Very healing. I feel between the two of you. Maybe they're a single parent and something happens with one of the kids and maybe they got kids and, you know, one of them tries to run away or, you know, they kind of not lose control. But, you know, if you have a kids and you're a single parent, sometimes you can't keep an eye on every single one. Maybe you kind of step in and kind of like help them out here and uh, it gets this ball rolling here. But I also see a very healing energy here. Hmm. Okay, so let's get your advice, Scorpio. Let's get your advice. Let's get, and the Ace of Winter there is about, you know, a brand new beginning um, based on truth and clarity and that kind of energy. All right, what is Scorpio's advice? bust out of your cocoon. Hmm. So I guess this is telling you to uh, don't be shy. <laughs> don't be shy. That's what I'm getting here. You may have to like step in for some reason and help this person and you may feel a little shy or like, I don't know, like, oh, I can't really do that, but I think you will. But this is telling you bust out of your cocoon, try something different, do something different. Um, don't be such a hermit. Get out there. So maybe you decide to, I don't know, go out for the day by yourself and maybe, you know, go to a zoo or go to a farm or do something that you wouldn't normally do on your own. And then you kind of run into this person. All right. So let's clarify with tarot. Let's clarify with tarot. And the moon sometimes can just represent very deep feelings also. So this person may be sensitive. They may have um, a lot of feelings and emotions. All right, so let's clarify. So I do ask Scorpio, if you're new, um, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. You subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I do four readings a month, and they're all different. So you can check out my channel if you like what you see and you subscribe. 
thank you so much. You can check the description box below for all the information that you need, personal readings, uh, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. And thank you to everybody for all your support that you've given the channel. In whichever way you've done that, I truly appreciate it. So thank you, thank you. All right, let's get a few more. Seven seems to be my magical number with this. I don't know why. All right, let's see. So we have the Ten of Coins. Wow, so this is total abundance, prosperity here with the Ten of Coins energy. Happy home and family. A family dynamic, legacy of a family. Wow, this could lead to the Ten of Cups coins here you could end up being married to this person down the road wow all right nine of swords stress worry anxiety though here fear nervous energy okay four of swords so healing energy you know thinking contemplating resting taking time out healing over something okay and then we have the two of coins. So this is juggling things around, balancing act, trying to balance things, needing to make the right decisions to make things balanced, and just juggling a, a lot, having a lot on your plate. So I'm gonna see after we get all of these. So now we have the emperor. So somebody taking the lead here, and it's placed right under the seven of spring when I felt like you may have to step in and help this person out in some way that makes sense and this is like you stepping up to the plate here with the emperor energy um just like taking the lead and taking control of a situation all right eight of swords energy wow so now we have a lot of um a lot of swords energy which is a lot of thoughts uh, mental energy and judgment so and that's your energy scorpio so oh i'm trying to piece this together so it could be that with the moon here i had said secrets it could be that maybe you know with the four of swords energy here of like healing resting kind of energy and with the stress and anxiety maybe this person has a secret about a marriage could be a marriage you know it's kept them blocked mentally blocked um could be a, a marriage that ended for them. Let's see what's on the Eight of Wands. So this is communication, passionate travel, communication kind of energy. So communication, you know, face-to-face, -face, over the uh, internet. So I feel like, actually, I feel like all these go together over here. It could be this person was in a bad situation, a bad relationship that kept them like trapped and bound. Um, and you know, something they had to heal from. It could have been a marriage or just a long-term commitment. They could have, could have taken the control and walked away from the situation here with the Eight of Cups. Definitely could have been a marriage because now we have faith here, which can represent a marriage here. We have the moon again. So, and we have the world here with cycles completing and new cycles so they definitely could have completed a cycle here but maybe they're afraid to tell you they may be afraid to tell you about their past i don't know maybe they're ashamed of it um and it could have been you know their a marriage for them came uh to an end that they walked away from or a long-term commitment and i i feel like maybe they feel ashamed or maybe they feel like um they can't talk about it so they may keep that from you, like how they were married or in long-term commitment and how it ended and how maybe they walked away, you know, and they really had to heal over that because maybe they felt really, really guilty about that. And they probably won't know how you will feel if they tell you uh, that. So they're probably really going to juggle around the idea here of telling you about their past. But, you know, this is judgment. They may feel you may judge them. So, you know, this is like making a final judgment call. Will they judge, will, you know, this person, will you judge them um, about their past? Because this is about, you know, life review, relationship reviews, 
of the past. But I feel like you could help heal them over this. I feel like you have you could have a very nurturing, healing energy. And with truth and clarity here with the Ace of Winter, you know, it's okay, if, you know, by talking to him, tell, it's okay to talk about it. It's okay. I understand. You know, you have this brand new beginning here. I didn't get any, um, we do have the world for a new cycle. So, I mean, this could have the chance to, um, be very healing relation, you know, connection here. I don't have like a lot of cups and stuff like that, but I think maybe with time it may. I mean, this could also be Ten of Pentacles for the future energy of the connection. Um, possibly also, you know, taking a very slow, practical approach with this person, getting to know them, telling them it's okay. You know, what they went through is okay. They don't have to keep it a secret here with the moon energy. So I think if you're in a nurturing, nurturing kind of energy, uh, I think, you know, this may be a nice uh, connection. It, it may or may not be long term. I don't know. But it may, may be just a very, very healing connection for the two of you. All right, Scorpio. Um, but we do have the Emperor here, which is Divine Masculine Energy. So, okay, Scorpio. Well... Good luck to you, Scorpio. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.